Hey guys, Intimidation here, and uh, showing you my Tetramorium colony. And they are doing quite well, as you can see. They're here, uh, I've had these ants from the beginning, starting with one queen, for about four months. And uh, they're really a really good uh, ant species to take care of if you're just starting off. If you're just getting into the hobby of raising ants and you, and you want to try it out and you want to maybe get yourself an ant farm or something basic like that from Uncle Milton. Or you just want to, you know, make a simple test tube setup like I have here. Uh, this would be the species to uh, to do it with. Um, they're really easy to care for. They, they eat anything. Um, they don't, uh, they require a little bit more water than I would say, uh, native California ants would, uh, would, would need. They, uh, they're an introduced species. They don't, uh, they're not native, so. Um, as far as where you can find queens, uh, it's, it's pretty random. You can find them all over California, just like you would, uh, you would the, uh, the other small black ant in California, the Argentine ant. The, the Tetra, uh, Tetramorium, they fly in May to June and into July. And uh, they love farmland and rivers. Uh, I found this queen, this particular queen that started this colony, was found in the uh, the American River area in Northern California near Sacramento. So uh, they breed really quickly. Uh, uh, probably from queen to first worker, I'd say a little under three weeks. Um, it was probably about two and a half weeks, I would say, um, to three and a half weeks that I, that, uh, that workers emerged, and then they just take off from there. And I feed these, I feed this colony termites and mealworms and anything else I can scrounge up. Sometimes I, f I feed them spiders that I find, <laughs> find in my house, and they'll take those gladly. Uh, they love termites, though. Termites is probably the best ant food I can, I can recommend for you. Uh, there's about, mm, I'd say 120, 130 workers in this colony right now. And I've just got a simple test tube with cotton. And it's, it acts as a stopper and, and a wick system. And there's water in the end of the tube. And then as you... I made a little tube that goes to a forging area. And in the forging area they have like all their you know, dead insect parts, and, and some sometimes they rip out some of the cotton and they put it out there, but uh, that's something I'm used to. But yeah, these these guys are doing really well. Um, I initially raised these for a contest on the forums I go to at Yuku. Um, the Yuku forum, Yuku Ant forums. Um, and I was dropped from the contest because what happened was I forgot to post... Uh, a month of my progress, so I was dropped from the contest, which is okay. It's it's no big deal, but um, I'm still keeping them around. They're they're pretty exciting to watch. Uh, when I feed them, they go nuts. So next time, I'll try to get that on film for you guys when I feed them. But uh, yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to uh, insert that as a as a cool movie for you guys to look at. Uh, hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, take care.